Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads butterflies. One of you guys in a comment requested to make a beaded butterfly and that is why I'm doing it. I'm showing it really easy and slowly and step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it and you could always ask me anything in the comments. By the way down there I have a tutorial on how to make beaded butterfly with rondelles. Uh, you could check it if you want after this video in description and it will be at the end screen of this video as well. If you're new here consider subscribing, also you help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting as I mentioned and you could check description for useful resources and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now is a course of five videos and this ring is part of those videos. Okay and without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads if you want and they are black, yellow, red and blue. You could use others of your choice. These are earring findings. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches so 0 0.15 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five videos with peyote stitch besides the other perks so you could definitely check it out okay and now let's continue this is size 10 beading needle maybe it will be easier for you if you use size 11 or 12 okay these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory i use them only if i need to go through the difficult beads and now i'm going to take a little more than half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I will start my work by picking up 12 black beads. Okay and now I have my 12 on my needle. Okay here they are. And now what I want to do is slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and then pull and then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay so this is what I have now. And now guys what I want to do is take one red bead, three yellow beads and one red bead. Okay and as I'm exiting through one of my black beads what I want to do is skip the next one and go through the following and I pull. Then in my next step I'm going to pick up the same sequence. Okay here it is. And I skip the next one and go through the following. So what I need to add here are five beads again but this time black ones. Okay I have my five beads here and I do the same thing. I skip the one that's on my way and go through the next one. Then I'm going to repeat what I did from this side. A red, three yellows and a red. Here it is. Skip the next one and go through the following. Then again. Okay, here is what I have and from this side I want to add black beads. Five 
skip the one that's on my way and go through the very first black bead that I started this row from. Okay, okay guys, now I want to go through the red and through the yellow. Pulling. And I want to take a yellow, three blue beads and a yellow. Here they are. Skip the middle yellow one here and pull. Now just take one black bead and go through the next yellow that's on your way. Then again take the same sequence, yellow, three, blue, yellow. Skip the central yellow and go through the following. Okay. Okay, and now I take a red one. And as I'm exiting here through this yellow, I'm going in the black that is next to the one that's sticking out the most. Here is where I go. And when I pull, I have this. Take two blacks, blue, two blacks. Skip the one here at the center that is sticking out the most. And pull. Then take another red one. And repeat the same thing. Go through the first yellow here. Now take the same sequence like here okay here is what i have skip the central one that is sticking out the most one black exiting out of one of the yellows go through the other one then the same sequence yellow three blue yellow skip the central one and go through the following then again what i need here is a red one go through the one that is next to the sticky outy and take two blacks one blue and two blacks two blacks one blue and two blacks skip the central one and go through the following and now what I need to finish this row is one red bead and I go through the yellow one. When I pull I have this right here. Okay. What I want to do is go in this direction and I will go in the first blue bead that I have here. Then what I'm going to take are five blue beads. Okay, I have my five here. Skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following. And as I'm exiting of this blue here, I take yellow, red, yellow and I go here in this one, in this blue, the first of the three that are coming on my way. And now what I need are five blue beads again i skip the one that's sticking out and go through the following okay then what i'm going to take is a yellow a red and a black i take them here and as i'm exiting through this blue one here what i want to do is go in the black next to the blue okay this is what i have here i want to take two black beads one red and two blacks okay and now i take this sequence of beads and i skip the blue one and go through the following black now i have this then I'm going to take the same sequence like here, but the other way around. Black, red, yellow. Okay, I have this. And what I want to do is go in this blue one. Okay. 
Okay. Five blue. Five blue. Skip the one that's sticking out. Go through these blue. And yellow, red, yellow. And go again through the first blue. Five blue. Yellow, red, black. Go in the black one and go in the first, sorry, in the black after the blue. Now what I need is a black, a red and a yellow. Here are they. And I go here in the blue one. Then guys, what I want to do is go through these two blue beads in this direction, exiting to the one that's sticking out the most or the middle of my five beads that I added. And what I need to add are a yellow, three red and a yellow. Skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following. Okay. Then I need a yellow and two reds here it is and I go here in the central one okay then I need the other way around two reds and a yellow and I go next to the one that's sticking out the most okay yellow three reds yellow Skip the central blue and go through the following. Okay, then I take yellow and two red beads. And I go here in this red one. Just like this. Then I go through all of the beads, guys, in this direction, next to the red one. And I want to add three black beads. Skip the red one and go here. Then I will continue the same way. I'm going through all of the black beads and my goal is to exit out of this red one here. And I take two reds, one yellow and I go here in this blue one that is next to the central one that's sticking out the most. I take yellow, three reds and a yellow skip the central blue one and go through the following and here again yellow and two reds go through the middle one here like this and then the other way around two reds one yellow and go through this blue okay yellow three reds yellow skip the central go in the next one yellow and two reds and go in the central red here okay Now I will do the same thing that I did before. I will go through all of those beads in this direction and I will reach the red bead 
and what I want to take are three black beads. And by the way, don't worry that your work is bending like this at this stage, we'll fix it later. Okay, here what I need to do is add three. And now guys, I'm exiting out of this red one. And what I need to add here are two reds and a yellow. And what I do is that I go through this blue one. Okay, now this is what I have. And in my next step, I will start making the final row, which will make sense, okay? I'm going through these three top red beads. I'm taking three red beads and I go here through these ones, okay? Like this. Then I don't go through the angle bit, but directly through this bit. Okay, like this. Then again, I'm going to take three, go here. And now the wings of my butterfly are starting to form. Okay, here they are. Now I will go here in this direction. And before I finish the wings, I want to make, I want to add the head of my butterfly and attach the earring finding. Okay. Here I am, and what I want to take at this step are four black beads, one red, and I'm going to slide those down. Skip the red one, don't go through it, but go through all of those black beads in this direction. Okay, now I have this. Here I will repeat the same thing. Okay, here is what I have and I want to attach my earring findings at this point. Okay, and how I do this? I want to exit here out of the first of these four beads that I added in my previous step. And I'm going to take one of my earring findings and I'm taking one black bead, then my earring finding and then one more black bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going in the same place through the first black bead that I added here of the four of my previous step. And now I want to make a little reinforcement here. Okay, and now I have my earring finding attached and I could continue to finish the wings of my butterfly. By the way, the ring you are seeing here is part of my peyote course. Uh, that is uh, only for members and if you check membership down there you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, then I take three red beads and I go here through these top three red beads 
first I went through one of them because it's easier for me then through the other two take three and go through the first two beads here don't go through the angle and pull then go through these two that you have here now you want to add three more go through all of those top three beads three and go here then here and in this direction like this then again take the last three beads from this row and when you add them like this your butterfly is ready I just need to make a knot and cut my thread okay and how I make my knot I make here a loop between two of the beads and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then in my next step I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread and now guys my seed beads butterfly is ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i post new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often you could also check description for full list of materials facebook and insta pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me PayPal link for donations and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now is a course of five Peyote Stitch tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.